Hello, drone community. This is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Welcome to the Drone Weekly News Roundup. This week, we have four stories to dive into as well as an update from one of the topics we covered a couple of weeks ago. First, we'll talk about drone delivery startup Zipline, who got its start delivering medical supplies in Africa, and how they recently raised $250 million in new funding. Then, we'll talk about Parrot's latest drone, the Anafi AI, which is the first 4G-connected drone. We'll talk about what that means. We'll also talk about the Shark Smart drone trial that the Australian government is doing to protect sharks from people, not just people from sharks. It's an interesting uh, use case and a successful trial so far. Then we'll explore a new app called Open Sky that helps drone pilots obey U.S. regulations. And finally, we do have a quick update from the leaked DJI Mini SE story we spoke about a couple of weeks ago. All right, our first story is about Zipline. While many drone delivery companies here in the U.S. have talked and talked about what they could accomplish if U.S. regulations were to catch up to drone delivery technology, and, and we are surely getting there, uh, but Zipline is off to a head start. The company already has robust medical drone delivery networks in places like Ghana and Rwanda with over 150,000 commercial deliveries. And they have been building out similar networks in several other countries. Zipline has also started to make medical deliveries here in the U.S. with a program delivering PPE and medical equipment in North Carolina. Uh, and a partnership with Walmart to test using drones for the delivery of health and wellness products. To top all this off, Zipline recently raised $250 million in funding. Yes, a quarter of a billion dollars in new funding, uh, bringing its total market valuation up to a whopping $2.7 billion. Uh, that's a remarkable number for an industry that's still relatively new. We love hearing stories about hashtag drones for good and are excited to see how Zipline and other similar organizations transform the way uh, certain healthcare systems work. Next up, French drone manufacturer Parrot recently announced the launch of the Anafi AI, the first drone to use 4G as the main data link between the drone and the drone pilot. According to Parrot, this means that the drone will have enhanced transmission capabilities enabling precise controls at any distance, like flying beyond visual line of sight, BD loss, or flying behind obstacles. Now, this is pretty cool. The Anafi AI has a unique design that was inspired by the eyes of insects, allowing it to have a greater range of vision without requiring extra sensors placed all over the drone's body. Uh, more on this story. No pricing information has been released yet, but we look forward to getting our hands on this drone. Going into our next story, the Australian government has been using a system called Shark Smart to spot sharks in the water and alert swimmers and surfers in the area. The system uses drones to collect aerial footage over several highly trafficked sections of Australia's beaches, which is then processed using AI to detect the presence of sharks or other marine wildlife. Shark Smart has proved effective at keeping people safe from sharks, but it has an added benefit keeping sharks safe from people. So by spotting sharks and keeping people out of their path, drones present a non-lethal solution for shark control. Uh, shark Smart has been a pretty successful trial so far. It's currently being expanded to include other beaches in Australia with the ultimate goal of using it for all of Australia's beaches. The expansion means more safe beaches for people and more safe areas of the ocean for sharks. Hashtag drones for good. Our fourth story is about the drone delivery company Wing, who recently launched a free app for drone pilots called Open Sky. The app's primary goal is to help both commercial and hobbyist drone pilots fly legally. In the app, pilots can see color-coded information that shows where you can and cannot fly. Green means it's okay to fly, yellow means use caution, and red is a no-go for flying. In addition to this information, drone pilots can use the app to get airspace authorizations via Lance, uh, log flight information, and plan future flights. This app is similar to other airspace research apps like Kitty Hawk, AirMap, Before You Fly. There are a bunch. Uh, the U.S. is the second country to get the Open Sky app. Uh, just launched here. It's been available in Australia since 2019, and the app is available on both iOS and Android if you want to check it out. 
And lastly, a few weeks back, we spoke about the leaked DJI Mini SE, which had been shown in stock at a Walmart and was even live on Walmart's website despite not having been officially launched. At the time, we speculated that the SE would be released by mid-July based on rumors we were hearing in the drone industry. Well, the newest drone from DJI is now live, but not in the U.S., Uh, According to DJI, the Mini SE will not be sold in either the U.S. or in Europe, uh, except for Russia, uh, ever. Uh, So unfortunately, many of us uh, watching this video may not be able to get our hands on it. I'm not too worried. I'm sure DJI will launch a new drone uh, in the not-too-distant future. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone industry news. We'll also be adding links below to each of these stories so you can read more. Thank you so much for watching, and to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying. See you next week.